Hi, it's Martin, and welcome to another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. Today's video is episode 11 of Vlogtober. It is Sunday the 30th of October. We're nearly at the end of Vlogtober. I think this is going to be a bit of a bigger, action-packed video. I'm in the car, and I'm heading to the supermarket because I've just realised I'm missing a few ingredients to make the Christmas cakes. So, I filmed a bit of footage yesterday, a little bit of footage, at the band competition I was at, and then a bit of context about what I've been up to. So I'm going to hand you back to, or hand you over to, yesterday's Martin to run you through what he got up to on Saturday. And I'll be back when I'm in the house, back from the supermarket. For Vlogtober. <laughs> For Vlogtober. Woo! We've changed. This is Charlotte. Charlotte played a solo. You played brilliantly. Charlotte's going to be on YouTube. Rian, say hello. Hiya. Charlotte, say hello. Hiya. We've changed now. This is our casual outfit. All the behind the scenes. Now, I feel like I need to explain some of that footage you've just seen. My people are behind me. So, I play in a brass band, which I think I've talked about before. And the tenor comes from the fact that I used to play tenor horn. Not that I am a tenor singer. I'm absolutely not a singer. Um, I now play cornet, and we've just had a band competition. So 20 bands entered, and we all play a 20-minute programme of our choice. And then an adjudicator judges us, and some bands will win and some bands won't. So you've just seen a bit of me <laughs> in the black dinner jacket. That's what we wear on stage. And then now we're back in our casuals. We walk into the pub. I'm driving, so I will have a non-alcoholic lager. There's four walkers behind me, my very good friends, of mostly over like 20 years. Like, Bandin's a bit of a family. Um, and I've been retired like three or four times, and then I just keep getting dragged out of retirement. And I have red cheeks because <laughs> it was very hot on stage. But I just thought I would explain, <laughs> because you've just seen a little bit of random footage um, but again, Vlogtober behind the scenes of what I get up to in the month. Um, so yeah, so now we wait for the results. Um, I think most of you worldwide will get brass bands. They're very big in America. Obviously wind bands and wind band competitions are much bigger in America, I think, than brass bands. Australia have the Australian National Championship. So down under, you've all got them. Big in Europe. I've played in the European Championships before and represented Wales. And then I retired. <laughs> and now I've been dragged out. So, uh, yeah. That is my Saturday. So, I'll let you know tomorrow probably now how we get on. Um, I don't do it for the results anymore. I've been there. I've done it. i played in bands for over 20 years. Over 30 years probably. Um, now I just do it to play with my friends. Which is brilliant. They're very slow, aren't they? Right, speak to you in a bit. Right, I'm home now, and you've just seen the band bit. So it's actually, the day's got away with me. It's three o'clock. Um, so to finish the band section off, we came 10th out of 14. I think that was the result. Um, I did say I don't do it for the results anymore. I do it to play with my friends, which is true. Um, the band were disappointed with the result, but you win some, you lose some. I've got a band in Korea that I've realised that. So there we go. That's band in done. Um, I'm back from the shops. I used my extra hour productively. The clocks have gone back in the UK. And I thought, knit, play on Instagram, have an extra sleep. So I got up and knit. Woohoo! And spoiler, you've seen this already because you've been watching my videos. But I have finished one side. It's quite long. It goes on and on and on and on. So I finished the one strap. And I have started the next strap. I've done half a repeat. So I'm making progress. Um, the rest of the day now, I've got a Christmas cake in the oven. 
Um, I need to make two of them. So we were watching telly. I, I'll show you the second one when it's been made. But I've, I've made, I've started this while that one's baking. Um, the cake has another hour and a half and then it gets checked. Um, but I'm going to make the other one tomorrow. And this blog's not going up until Monday night. Happy Halloween! So I will show you me making the other cake. Um, so yeah, we're having a bit of a lazy Sunday. Mark is going to cook a roast chicken. I'm assuming he's there. I'm assuming you're cooking dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Mark's going to cook a roast chicken. I'm going to carry on with my knitting. I've got a Christmas cake in the oven. He's just putting some shopping away. Clanking the bottles. Loki's here. He needs to go for a W A L K in a bit. Um, I might take him at tea time while Mark starts dinner. Does that sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, are you going to come around and say hello? They love it when you come and say hello. Come on. I'm pouring oil. You're pouring oil. I know. We'll stop pouring oil. Come and say hello. Yeah, I'm um, so I'm going to take him for the W A L K because he understands the word, obviously. So I can't. And if I go, <gasps> I can get him excited just by raising my voice. <laughs> um, yes, so I'm just going to carry on with my knitting now. And then at some point, we're going to... Are we going to watch Hocus Pocus? Yeah. Hocus Pocus, glass of wine, glass of port. Here he is. Hello. Hello. Oh, li literally a fleeting visit. I'm cooking. What are you cooking? He's not cooking. Uh, my dad made a pot of French onion soup yesterday love it so when i picked the dog up my dad gave us a portion so we're about to have uh some soup i can see it boiling can you i put the soup on and then i started chatting to you a lot um so we're gonna have some soup it does soup lunch and then what are we watching gangs of london gangs of london we are on episode four four <laughs> the voice from behind the camera right i'm gonna carry on i'm gonna crack on my plan today if I can, is to finish this strap. So then tomorrow, I can start the next section, if possible. Um, more on this in a bit, but niece one is coming tomorrow. It's my non-work Monday, I've got a day off. Niece one is coming down, Adriana. She is nearly eight. She'll be eight in December. She'll tell you that if I can get her on the camera. Going on 40. Going on 40, yes. Very sassy. Um, she's coming down, and we're going to do some sewing. She wants to learn to sew. So she's coming to Uncle Martin's and we are going to make um, some little bags out of old denim jeans. That's the plan. But more on that later. Right. I'll pop back in a bit. I'll show you the cooked Christmas cake and where my progress is. Okay, so cake has had... Three hours and 20 minutes. I'm just going to lift the parchment off. Look at that. Okay, now Delia says we have to do the, uh, the skewer test. And if a skewer comes out clean, da -da, it's done. So I like to check in a few different places just to make sure it's cooked all the way through which it seems to be and I don't like to overcook it because it then goes dry what say you Mark? looks done yeah and it doesn't matter about pricking it because um, I'm going to prick it more to feed it between now and Christmas. Yeah, we'll go with that. We are out for our walk. Um, it's dark now. It's only 20 past five. And look how dark it is. So we are now in 
uh, back to Greenwich Mean Time. The clocks went back, for those of you not in the UK. So we're back to GMT, uh, whereas we've previously been on BST, British Summertime. Uh, there's the bay to get your bearings where we usually are. Um, so while I was out walking, I thought I would be productive. Come on. He likes to sniff everything. Um, I thought I'd be productive and do my community shout out. So you've all been amazing when I've asked for community help in the past. And we did orange flowers um, earlier in the year for the Seroptimist uh, Society. There's a display that's um, now up in Cardiff. I need to see if I can get a photo of the actual display. But I asked for people to make orange flowers um, because Jenny and Giselle from my local yarn shop are part of the Seroptimist Society, which promotes rights for women. And they were having a big display in Cardiff and wanted lots of orange flowers. And you kind folk knit and crochet some orange flowers for me, for them, after I'd asked. And they had over 340 flowers sent to my local yard shop, which was amazing. I'm going to talk about that more in my next month end wrap up when I sit down. So I know lots of, that's what I talked about it and asked for people to help. Um, but I know lots of you, um, or lots of people only watch the month end wrap ups and don't kind of watch these as we're going out and about. So to make sure I don't miss anyone who may have contributed a flower, I'll mention it again. But the reason for mentioning community stuff now is my very good friend, Claire, who I've known for 20 years, is a midwife. And their midwife unit um, in Claire's local hostel where she works are running out of baby hats. And you often see campaigns from um, midwives and maternity units asking for knitted items. Well, Claire is now almost running out of stock of little hats to put on the new babas when they're born. So um, I said, I've got a super community of lovely people and some of you might like to knit or crochet a little baby hat. So I'm gonna pop Claire's details below um, with an address for you to send any hats to that you would um, be able to make. Um, and I've also got a link to a number of free patterns. If you are able to make a hat, um, but want a pattern to follow, um, then there's some links that I found online to a blog post that's got a number of um, free patterns on it. So I'll pop that detail um, in the description box so that you can take a look at the patterns. Um, and absolutely, please do not feel obliged. You don't have to do it. But if you are at a loose end, in between an MCAL, <laughs> and uh, want something to, something little to work on. Um, either premature or newborn sizes, knit or crochet, um, no specific yarn or wool requirements, no specific color, very much hospital will be super grateful for anything that's received. So Claire is a midwife at the Prince Charles Hospital, which is in Merthyr Tydfil which is about a 45 minute drive from Cardiff. Um, and I said, one of my very good friends working for the NHS, God bless our British NHS. Um, so an absolutely worthy cause. <laughs> I'm not getting very far with my pumpkins. <laughs> um, maybe I can squeeze out a couple of hats. Um, and again, no deadline, um, anything gratefully received. So. I'll pop the details below and I'll mention it again in my next month end roundup. But very much a bit of a community shout out. I know lots of you are very community minded 
and if you are able and willing they will happily take some hats knit or crochet for the lovely little babies that are born at the maternity hot uh, the maternity unit so that was efficient wasn't it using my walk time loki say hi he's literally not bothered he just wants to sniff everything so yeah there we go i'm gonna finish walking him and then i've done one and a half repeats of four so i'm definitely making progress <laughs> mark started to cook dinner let's get home and see how much more progress i can make tonight Monday. <laughs> um, I got coffee. So I didn't finish the second strip. I'm about halfway through. But by the time we had dinner and then I watched some telly, uh, it was just feeling a bit tired and I didn't want to make a mistake because I'd made a mistake a few rows down and I dropped a stitch when I was cabling. Fixed it, it's fine. But I was a bit tired. So I haven't finished it. So I'll hopefully finish that today. Um, but it is nearly eight o'clock. Niece one is coming for sewing. And my, my brother said, any time between eight and 9.30. I'm like, can we be a bit more specific? A 90 minute window for arrival? Just text me when you're leaving. Um, so I want to get the Christmas cake in the oven. I work from home today. I'm in yesterday's t-shirt. I haven't had a shower yet. I will go and change shortly. Um, but I just want to get the cake in the oven because it's a good three, three and a half hours. So I'm going to spin you around and I'm going to get all the bits out. It's a, it's a standard cake. So it's sugar and butter, cream together, fold in flour with some um, dried spices. So um, nutmeg and uh, mixed spice, which has got like five or six different spice in it. It smells really Christmassy, like cinnamon and clove, and I don't know what else is in it. Um, so it's just a standard cake batter. Um, oh, butter, sugar, <laughs> eggs, flour. Um, and then you just stir the mixed fruit in, fold it all through so you don't knock the air out that you've got from the butter and the sugar, um, and then bake it. That's pretty much it, but because of the amount of the fruit, it's really dense and heavy. So it's got to have a low, slow bake. Um, so I think I worked it out, 140 centigrade, which is 100 something Fahrenheit, I think, gas mark one, depending on which denomination you use. Um, and then the other thing that we do is, so this is the cake tin, um, which I obviously need to put the bottom back in. <laughs> uh, but, because it's in there for so long, you need to make sure the cake doesn't burn. So um, I use a spring form cake tin or a loose bottom cake tin. I double line the bottom and then I'll put baking parchment on the inside. There. So I'll line the inside um, and then that protects the bottom and the sides. And then I put an extra cuff around using some wool, keeping it on trend. Um, and then I put an extra cuff around the top just to protect it extra, uh, to give it some extra protection from the heat. And then we put two layers of grease proof on the top. So it's very well layered. Um, the ones on the top have a little hole in um, to let the steam out, um, but it protects it and it stops it burning and going too dark while it's on its low cook. So that's the preamble. I'm gonna spin you around. I'm gonna get the mixer down, weigh all my bits out and get cake in the oven. And my plan is to get the cake in the oven before Adriana arrives. Let's go.
we are here sewing. Adi, say hi. Hi. This is Adriana. How old are you? Uh, I'm seven. Seven, going on 70. Seven, we're what? Old, sassy. She is sassy. Uh, right, what are we doing? I'm practicing sewing. She is practicing sewing, she's doing brilliantly. We are, before we get onto bags, we're practicing straight lines. I'll spin you around and show you now. Awesome. Well done, that's so straight. So far. So far, so good. Oh, I think so. You're getting better with every one. Hold that up. This. So what are we gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna try and uh, thread an A out. We're gonna do an A for Adriana. Yeah. Right, hold on then. Oh, there's still more threads. Brilliant. Should we have another high five? Awesome. So look at that, we did straight lines and then we did a curvy line. And now we've done an A. Now we've done an A. Nailed it. Right, what are we gonna do now then? Try and make some bags. We're gonna make a bag, a drawstring bag. First, yeah? yeah? Right, we need to go. And then we're gonna try and make one of these. Oh, with a zip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zips might be um, tricky for the beginner, but there we go. We can definitely do that. Right. Come, and, come and show your fabric. Right, what have we found in the stash? Uh, um, I'm making one of these for my little baby sister. Ah, uh, niece, niece three. Niece three. Yes. So we're going to make unicorn drawstring bags. Yes. That's the plan. Right, we need clips. 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 Because we've got to follow a pattern this time. Oh, yeah. So... We've got our clips. We're gonna clip them together. Nice. Stop. That's it. No. That's okay, you just caught it. That was so close to the edge. That was. Now, but this like one. It. That's it. Keep going, and then turn the white bit inside out as well. That's it. <laughs> awesome. It's very hard. No, it's not. You're doing brilliantly. I can't do it. And you can. Keep going. What's that? <laughs> Give it, a, and then? give it a shake. <laughs> awesome. Right, now what do we need to do next? Okay, we're done now, and someone's gone shy all of a sudden. Yeah. Fine. Hi. 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 Um, right, what if we... <laughs> she just ran off. I don't want to be, there's a lot of people. Right, show them what we've done. What have we made? Uh, um, first, I've made... Two bags, one for me and one for my little sister. And so show them how the bags work. Um, Drawstring bags. Oh. <laughs> Woohoo! And then you open them back up. Yep. And then what I made for me is a new pencil case. A little pencil case out of denim. And it's got all... It's got little red top stitching on it. And then the inside is also red. Um, Open up. Uh, okay. We've got a zip and it's red lined. Woohoo! And before I made these bags, I did... We practiced our stitches, didn't we? For the first time, um, I tried to make a lot of straight lines. 
So we followed all the lines and then like this one here, we drew a straight line and then with the chalk, we curved, curved it. So we could practice going around the corner. And the best one, we made an A. Because my name begins with an A. It does, because you are niece one. Adriana. Adriana. Peace out. Woo! <laughs> so we've had a brilliant day. <laughs> Although it's three o'clock, I need to run her home because someone's got to go trick or treating. It's 2.49pm. Oh, be quiet. It's nearly three o'clock. <laughs> um, and then I'm coming home to work on... My shawl. I've got. I said I've done this much. Your what? My shawl. Oh, my shawl. My shawl that I'm knitting. But it's like I got a lot of knitting left to do. Yeah, um, and Uncle Martin hasn't sewed since last year. No, I haven't sewed in a year. Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello. Right. So, to be fair, he's done pretty well. Oh, okay. is that a compliment? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Right. High five, that one. Right. Let's get you home. That really hurts. <laughs> And now it is Wednesday morning. So, spoiler alert, I'm wearing my shawl, which I still think is the way that you wear it. I don't know. We'll soon find out, won't we? <laughs> um, but I have now finished week three. So, spoiler, properly, we now have two snakes. These cables are really getting on my nerves. I can't wait to start working on those stitches again. But we now have two completed snakes. So they curl slightly because they're stocking stitch, but they'll block out fine. Um, but two snakes, the mirror image of themselves. So we go up and out and up and out. So they're quite long. Um, I wish that could be the thumbnail, but that would be a proper spoiler for some people that are still avoiding spoilers. Maybe we'll do... That's not a spoiler? Is that a spoiler? I don't know. I think I bought what the thumbnail is. But we've basically um, finished those. So I'm saying I finished week three. I haven't yet done the embellishments that go on the cable section. They are really easy to do and... I'm claiming week three is finished because they're optional as well. So at the moment, I'm opting not to do them. I am going to do them. Um, but I'm now going to get ready to move on to week four. So, yeah, this has been a bit of a longer video. Um, time has passed. I hope to have finished this earlier. Um, but having all the fun with Adriana yesterday and doing the sewing, which was brilliant. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, hop over there and check out. I did a little reel of her doing some sewing which is super cute um and then i did a little bit yesterday and i got about halfway and then oh sorry on monday i got about halfway and then i finished it last night but it was late last night finishing it and bad light and whatever so this is still my favorite section i said earlier maybe in the last video um i really enjoyed how these traveling cables work up and I really enjoyed learning how to cable without a needle. I'm not convinced that I would do like this section when you're say cabling, because this is an eight cable pattern. So you like slip four to the needle, slip them to the back, and then you knit the next four. I'm not sure I could do an eight, si an eight stitch section without a needle. I don't know, I would definitely be up for practicing it, but this only being one stitch, um, was brilliant and as I said in my other video I'm not sure how you would do this section with a cable needle because it is super fiddly I showed Mark the other night I did a little demo I was like look at what we're doing and he was like oh that looks fiddly I went haha look at this and I did it with that cable needle um, so if you haven't yet got to section uh, to week three definitely watch Stephen's video and embrace the um, doing it without a needle because I think that was such a fun technique so we're going to wrap this video up and with it, we're going to wrap up Vlogtober. There have been 10 videos in October plus two lives. This is was going to be the 11th video, but I hadn't finished week three. So slightly delayed. It's warm now. I'm taking it off. Um, slightly delayed and kind of nice, though, to wrap up Vlogtober um, with the first video of November. 
So I hope that you have enjoyed following along with Vlogtober. It's been so much fun filming. I looked back through the videos, like at the beginning of the month, we went to Ali Pali and did the Toft exhibition. Like it's been a long October and we've done a lot of knitting. I haven't knit anything else. <laughs> So there's no roundup to show you other things that I finished. I've done about this much on a sock. So I'm gonna have a bit of a break now, I think, for the next couple of nights, um, and I'm gonna do something completely different. I need to have a bit of a palette cleanser. Um, so I might just knit on a sock tonight, or I might do a toff bird. Um, but I'm gonna have a little bit of a break just before I then jump into week four. I've got another free weekend this weekend, so I might do Friday, Saturday, Sunday is week four and see how much I can get done over the weekend and then a bit of a palette cleanser um, for the rest of the week. Um, coming up on the channel then, there will be um, a bit of a break. I'm not gonna be doing three videos a week. <laughs> so we have a live coming up on Friday, more in a minute, um, but I'll be back in a week or so's time probably um, with a bit of an update on what else I've been working on. There won't be a proper roundup sit down video because I haven't really done anything else in October to share with you. I have got some purchases that I can share and show off those. So I'll be back to show those. So give me about a week off to just like recover from the Vlogtober madness. And then I'll be back to share that excitement with you. Um, and the most exciting bit to end with is on Friday, Irina and I are going live on my YouTube channel again. So head over here to Knit365, um, live at five, but not five. It's five Amsterdam time, four UK time, and I think 12, Eastern Standard. It's definitely five Amsterdam and four UK. I know that for definite because we're joined by a very special guest, by two very special guests, um, Stephen West himself and Linda, um, Stephen's test knitter, is, um, are going to join us for our final YouTube live to wrap up the MCAL. Super, super, super excited and super grateful to Linda and Stephen for giving up their time and their Friday evening. So we're hoping it's going to be very chatty, very casual. Grab a Friday beer at the end of the week and sit down and chat all things MCAL. Irina's finished her MCAL, so Team USA won. So Irina can show off her shawl. Stephen and Linda can show off theirs. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have questions for Stephen. We'll try and put some of those to him. But also by doing it as a YouTube live, you get to comment along and we'll get Stephen to try and answer as many questions as we can. So it just feels like a really amazing um, way to wrap up mine and Irina's um, Knit365 Fibre Chats collaboration craziness for the MCAL. So yeah, really grateful to Stephen and Linda for giving up some of their time. So join us, five o'clock Amsterdam time, 4 p.m. UK time, I think 12 p.m. Eastern time for Boston for Irina. Check all your other times around the world, depending on your time zones. Um, it will be recorded, hopefully technology permitting, and then you can watch it back if you're not able to join us live. And as I said, quite a nice little way to wrap up the MCAL. And a nice way for me to wrap up this video. So I'm going to edit this footage together and get this up Wednesday afternoon. Thank you so much for being here and supporting with all of the craziness throughout Vlogtober. It's been super fun and I'm now going to have a bit of a rest before we do it all again in December for Vlogmas and we do Advent. So I hope that you are all well. Get those questions in below for Stephen and we'll try and answer as many as we can. And Linda, of course. Um, and then we will be back very soon. So until we speak again, happy crafting.